I'm a big Linux fanboy. I think you know this about me. I've created a channel with Linux in the name. I love Linux, and I love most things about Linux. I love the choice. I love the fact that it doesn't bug me for updates. I, I love that I don't have to restart it after I install a, a program. I love many things about Linux, and I hate many things about Windows and Mac OS. Irrationally so, most of the time. I mean, if we were completely honest with ourselves, we can at least say that if we had to, we could use Windows and get work done. I would hate every minute of it, but I can be rational about this and say that I could do that. But I would still prefer Linux. Ten times out of ten. And I think the vast majority of my audience agrees with me on that point. That all being said, there are things about Linux that just piss me the fuck off. And I'm dropping an F-bomb there because it's necessary. So it's late at night. It's just about midnight. And I've decided to do one of these ranty videos just because I wanted to do it. And this video won't go up for a couple days. So maybe I won't even choose to release it. But I don't know. Uh, the thing I want to rant about today is called is file pickers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Matt, how much time do you actually dedicate to your to your thought process to file pickers and the sad fact of it is way too much file pickers are the reason why I can't get my entire family to actually use Linux because the file pickers on Linux are terrible and I'm using the plural of it because there are like nine different file pickers on Linux I mean it's not really nine it might be nine I don't know but there's definitely three or four of them and they're all atrocious they're multiple levels of bad now, I'm not talking about file managers like Nautilus or Nemo. Those are fine, varying degrees of fine, I should say, but they have a purpose and they are useful. And if you don't like them, there are 12 other ones that you can choose from. No, what I'm talking about is file pickers. And these things are the things that pop up when you upload or download a file from a program. So if you open up Kden Live and op want to open up a project, you do that through a file picker. If you want to download or upload a file to Firefox, through you know, to a website on Firefox, you do so through a file picker. And they all use different ones. And they don't do a very good job of what they're supposed to do. They are functional to the very minimal definition of functional, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to rant about this for probably three or four hours. No, this video is not going to be that long, but it, it could could be. I could go on for a long time about how horrible file pickers are. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. And I'm talking softly so I don't wake up half the neighborhood. Otherwise I'd be screaming mad. All right. Also, I've done this video once before and OBS decided to stop recording. So that also pissed me off just a little bit extra more. So I've turned on the setting in, in OBS to ask me if I'm sure I want to stop recording because hopefully that'll prevent me from randomly stopping the damn recording because that just pisses me off. All right, anyways, mini rant over. Let's move on to the main rant, shall we? So here we are in lovely Firefox and Firefox is great, okay? The problems I have with Mozilla aside, Firefox remains the browser of choice for me. I couldn't stand Brave. It has some things that just really bother me. I couldn't stand Vivaldi, whatever. The point of the fact is Firefox is great, but it uses a file picker, just like all programs do. And this is what it looks like. And you probably see this thing probably 10 times a day if you use Linux. Everybody does. You know, it's, this is probably the most popular of the file pickers. I believe it's based on Thunar or something. I'm not actually sure. It's some kind of GTK app. Nobody knows what it is. It's not good. It does have the feature that I think is most necessary when an open dialogue file picker comes up, and that's search. And that search, if you noticed that the video just skipped, it's because Firefox, or excuse me, OBS stopped recording again, even though I have it set to ask me if I'm sure. And you want to know why? Because the key binding for, fi for find in Firefox, control F, is also, for whatever reason, the stop and start record but uh, uh, key binding for OBS. That's the reason why OBS keeps, you know, 
fucking fucking me over. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I actually managed to you know restart the video and actually been able to edit it. I'm sure I have. But anyways, a few moments later. I've changed that hotkey now. It, it took me a minute. <laughs> but uh, now that my OBS problems seem to have been changed or fixed, hopefully, uh, let me go back to my main rant, which is file pickers. So if I hit control F over here, and that shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't stop OBS now, which it doesn't, thank goodness. And the search box comes up. Now, I, somewhere in this directory, within another directory, I have a image of Tux and it has Tux in the name of the file. So if I search for Tux, I get nothing. Okay? I get absolutely nothing. Now, I can go to a terminal here and I can do locate Tux and I actually get every place where Tux is actually, you know, located. Now, it's not the best search ever uh, because it's in paths you know it's not usable it's not something that i can drag and drop into firefox it's of no use for me uh now if i were to use something like ranger and do search in ranger i could theoretically go through and enable drag and drop in order to do that from ranger that'd be fine but if you if i just use the stock standard file picker in firefox how am i supposed to find the picture unless i know exactly where it's at and Luckily, I'm very organized when it comes to my pictures. I pretty much know where everything is. And I've only become that way because I know that if I don't know precisely where everything is on my system, and I mean everything, I'll never find it again because... Or at least I won't be able to find it in a file picker because the search in file pickers is atrocious. Or, in the case of something like Caden Live, so let me go show you Caden Live. Let's just say I wanted to open up a thing here. And we just go to... Linux videos or whatever, it doesn't matter. This is the Kden Live file picker, and now they look different because one is a GTK app, one is a Qt Q app, and you'd expect them to look different, but there is no search in this app as far as I can tell at all. Now, you can't just, this is a drop down, so that's not a search. The file name here, that doesn't act as a search, and if I hit like Control F or something, uh, that doesn't work. Uh, so as far as I can tell, there is no search within this at all. I thought maybe like if I, you know, somehow managed to, you know, get out of the deactivate the text thing here and like hit the slash key in order to like of them search key binding, maybe that would work. That doesn't work. There's no search in a, in this at all. So if you, again, if you don't know the path, the exact path and the exact location of the file you're looking for, you're screwed. You have to go to a terminal or a different file manager in order to actually find the damn thing. And that's just dumb. Now, that's just two of them. Let me show you something else. Let me quit this out of here and move this over here. So this right here is Telegram. Everybody uses Telegram probably uh, or something like Telegram. And let's just say I wanted to download. Uh, I, it doesn't, I think I can actually just download this. I can just do this and hit save image as. And, oh, actually, this is going to be different. It, they've changed it since the last time I was here. This is actually the same file picker as Firefox has. So that's different than what it used to be before. What I'm trying to think of what the other application I was using. Was it OBS? Or not OBS. Was it was it Discord? It could be. It might be Discord. Let me upload a file. Nope, it wasn't Discord. Anyways, I guess it doesn't really matter. There are other file pickers out there. There's one that looks really, really old. That looks like it was from like a, a Windows 98 style thing. Uh, and it's not QT based. It's, I don't think, at least not a recent version of QT. And there are a couple other ones out there as well. And they're all terrible. They, especially when it comes to search, they're all terrible. Either they're like the cute one and don't have search at all, or they're like the GTK one, and the search doesn't work. It just, it doesn't work. You have to be in the direct, now, if I went back to the Firefox thing, and was in the exact directory that I was, I know the, knew the file to be in, I could search for Tux, and it would show up. So, I don't know what it's using to actually search, but it's not using any of the, it, it, there's no, system level service that is actually searching and providing that information to that file picker 
it, so it doesn't use locate. It, maybe it uses find or something. We all know find is terrible. I mean, find has its uses, but it's not as good as locate uh, for actually searching the whole system. I mean, uh, so whatever it uses, it's not. It doesn't have any kind of index that goes outside of the directory that it's actually in. It just searches that directory. And it doesn't search within subdirectories. It just so it's not, you know, recursive or anything. It just searches in that directory for specific files. If it's not in that directory, you don't find it. It's the dumbest thing in the world. And we have all these file pickers, right? Because Linux developers can't agree on shit. We we like choice so much we create everything from scratch because we disagree with each other over what how things should look or how things should act and what we end up with in a lot of cases is a smoldering pile of dog crap in terms of like file pickers i mean you can just see this i mean this is bad right this is not a good user experience when you want to when you when you have an open dialog file picker one of the things that you have to be able to do is search and it has to work well it works well on windows it works well on mac os it does not work well on linux and it's not going to ever it, this is one of those things that is just going to annoy the crap out of me forever and ever because it's never ever going to be fixed um and that makes me sad because like i said at the beginning i love linux but this is one of those things in linux that just drives me absolutely bonkers and it's also possible that maybe i just don't know what i'm doing it's possible. I'm a, an eternal Linux noob, and there's a possibility that the Qt version has search, and I just don't know what it is. It's possible that there's a key binding that allows you to access search in a Qt-based uh, open dialog file, but file picker or whatever, and I just don't know the secret handshake. It's possible. It's also possible that there's a command you have to run or something that in order to enable the GTK one to actually be able to search through things. It's possible. I don't think that's true, but it's possible, so you can let me know in the comments below if I'm an idiot. <laughs> you usually do. Uh, and it's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll freely agree with you. But anyways, it's late at night. I've had problems with OBS enough for the day. I'm done for now. So if you want to follow me, you can do so at the LinuxCast uh, on Twitter and Facebook. You saw the Facebook page there a minute ago. Uh, I don't post there very often, so whatever. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Maglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Chris, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, American Camp. Thanks, everybody, for watching and putting up with this rant. I'll see you next time.